guys, I'm back at the Virginia Air and Space Science Center. And it looks so different from the last time that I was here. Let's go and look around. Everything looks new and amazing here. And now you have a new name. Yes, we have a new name. Uh, we used to be the Virginia Air and Space Center, but now uh, in order to broaden our appeal and to make uh, our name more representative of who we are and who we serve, we decided to change it to the Virginia Air and Space Science Center. So here we are standing in the new Space Explorer Gallery, and this is an exciting space. It was important for us to be able to build and conceive of a space where parents and children could play in the same sandbox. You can build communities on Mars, you can find out your weight on different worlds, you can explore the solar system, and so much more. So this has been a major transformational change, mm -hmm. very much based on gaming techniques that, okay. that the kids love. Um, but we have one of our educators here today, and I think uh, she will do an excellent job of uh, introducing you and giving you a small taste of what a family can expect. This is so cool. Jessica, can you show me how this table works? Yeah, so this is our solar system explorer okay. touch table. So you're gonna touch it to get started. Wow. And it's gonna give you some instructions, but what's cool about this table is that you have the solar system at your fingertips and you can filter through what you want to see. So right now I unfiltered everything. So I'm going to zoom all the way out and you're going to see everything that is in our solar system. Um, and you can also take a really cool look at the sun. This is cool. Yes. So very interactive, very hands on. And everything and in your fingertips. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Super easy. Well, this is the Robot Zoo exhibit for kids. Can you tell us about it? Well, this is not the first time we've had the, the Robot Zoo here. It's a traveling exhibit and it's, it's a temporary exhibit. We decided that the kids needed something more playful coming out of this pandemic. And if you've got kids at home and they're driving you crazy, <laughs> this is the place to bring them. So this is a form of an intervention in a way yes. to get them to be back engaged to in the important them. materials. Uh, help us go crazy with bringing your kids here to have a wonderful time this summer. This part, I love it because parents and kids can interact and play, but now I want to take the IMAX theater. Well, it's right this way, so let's take a look. Okay, let's go. We are at the IMAX theater and it looks so different from the last time that I was here. Tell me about the new renovations. Well, we're really very pleased with the, the changes that we've made to this magnificent IMAX experience. Brand new uh, eight-story screen uh, that reflects more light back to the retina and eliminates a lot of the ghosting that's associated with IMAX. And as you can see, we're sitting in brand new yes, seating. This um, is awesome. And uh, I love the color, by the way. Me encanta. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I liked it too. Um, and we eliminated the old carpeting that was on the floor. I'm telling you a little bit of 15 years of popcorn, butter, and, <laughs> and, and Coca-Cola spills in the carpet was really nice to have this ripped out. I think it was the, a brilliant idea yeah. to change it because, you know, with kids sometimes. Yeah, that's right. Fall. It's now vinyl flooring, so yes. we're able to be a little bit more hygienic with our experiences. Uh, what kind of movies do you have for the summer season now? Well, we're doing two exciting films, Dinosaurs of Antarctica. Uh, the other film is called Asteroid Hunters. It's a NASA-based scientific uh, expose very, wow. very interesting stuff. But you know, these are now all included in the price of admission. And so we realized very quickly that when we made sure that they saw a really incredible IMAX film that moved them and educated them, that um, we were moving along our desire to make sure that people not only enjoyed their experience, but they definitely wanted to come back again. Well, thanks, Bob, for the incredible experience that I have today with you and the tour that you provide for us. We want to invite everyone to come and check out the Virginia Air and Space Science Center. Mm -hmm.